Hey yo, what is up YouTube? It is your boy Joker Hey 50 x and I know my um my uploading is very inconsistent right now, but I am still readjusting to working and everything. So forgive me, I, I'm gonna be doing a video at least twice a week. That is that is my goal for right now until I get used to my work schedule. Uh two videos a week and I have some things I'm 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 working on. I'm I'm trying to start a um uh, a series about this guy who pretty much loses his memory. Um, but I'm gonna do that on another channel. It's not gonna be on this one. So if you're interested in pretty much a web series or whatever, just hit comment. Tell me what you think, um, and I'll expand more on it for you. But enough of that. Let's get into it this week. Now I don't know about you, but I am extremely excited to to where Dragon Ball Super is going. Now, me personally. Like I said in a previous video, I am really, really hyped to see what Gohan is gonna pull out the bag. When he fought Cell, we didn't even know that Super Saiyan 2 was a thing. And um, Gohan pulled that out of the bag and completely blown us away. Now, mind you that Cell was, I, I'm gonna say on par, if not stronger than Gohan in Super Saiyan 2 form, what really caused Cell to lose was the fact that he was being distracted in a very stressful beam struggle. I mean, sure, Gohan only had one hand, so it was only so much power he could apply to that Kamehameha, but you gotta think about it. Cell was pushing with everything he had on top of the other Z Warriors blasting at him, and then I guess you can say Goku assisted Gohan, hence the name Father Son Kamehameha. It, it was just simply, that was by far the most epic bean struggle in the entire Dragon Ball series, in my opinion. But like I said, that's my opinion. What you guys may think may, com may be completely different. You guys may like the, um, the, what was it? The Goku and Vegeta first beam struggle. I mean, that was super dope. But you got to think about it. Gohan was a kid much younger than everyone else. And for this kid to be so much stronger, it was just mind blowing. Like, he surpassed our protagonist, who we just knew was unbeatable. He surpassed Vegeta. He surpassed Trunks. And we all knew Gohan had pretty much, you might as well say, a special ability, which was his um his anger and his potential. Now, his potential hadn't been fully tapped into, but Elder Guru did actually touch into his um his potential when him and Krillin was on Namek. He he assisted both of them. Now, mind you, this thing give Gohan his full potential. I say it tapped in probably about five to ten percent of his actual full potential and that's not a lot and again back then he was a kid and on top of that you gotta think about it. he's a saiyan so he's gonna get a zenkai boost for every time he catch an l so to speak and let's just be honest gohan took a lot of l's on namek even after that um potential unlock but i know i probably sound like a gohan fanboy but i am extremely excited to see what's new for gohan now the main reason for this video i want to talk about android 17. <laughs> Now, he's human now, if I remember correctly. Him and 18 are both humans now. So that means, I don't, I don't know if he's gotten weaker in essence, or it has made him stronger. <clears throat> now, before his power was pretty much unlimited, so to speak, um, I believe he had a set limitation on how powerful he could be, but his energy was unlimited. So he could continue fight without losing stamina without getting tired unlike the z warriors although in his fight against piccolo he showed signs of of tiring um maybe that was just damage applied to him from piccolo so i'm not gonna say he was actually tired but you can tell that him and piccolo's fight was actually wearing on him now mind you now that he's a human he will experience fatigue and <clears throat> and so there has to be a way for him to counter it. I don't, I'm not sure what exactly him and 18 can honestly do, um, or Krillin or TN for that matter. But I will say this much. I believe that 18 and 17 has a lot better chance at being useful than, um, than Krillin and, and, uh, and TN. Now, mind you, TN is my favorite Z warrior. Believe it or not. TN has always been my favorite Z warrior. And for that reason, I, 
I really, and when I say this, I cannot stress this enough. I really want to see TN use Kaioken. We know they train with King Kai. We we know that they pretty much surpassed the Ginyu Force in terms of strength. And the last time we saw TN do something, it was against Semi Perfect Sale. Now, to me, that was a baffling feat to see TN actually being able to pummel down on, on Sale and keep him at bay. But again, this could just be me gawking and fanboying, but you gotta think about it. TN, a character that has been on a back burner, came through in a clutch moment and pretty much slowed Sale down. It seemed like he was actually damaging Cell. Was it a lot of damage? No, but it seemed like he did enough damage to where Cell was completely com su com ah, surprised and baffled by the fact that TN could actually harm him or slow him down. So to me, that, that shows the potential that TN has. And mind you, ever since then, TN has been doing nothing but training. If you remember in the Boo arc, uh, when we saw TN and Chao Tzu, um, during Boo's genocide missile attack or whatever, genocide attack or assault rain, whatever you want to call it, TN and Chao Tzu was actually training during that moment. So you got to think about it. TN has gotten probably fathoms more powerful and there's no telling what kind of training everyone's going to actually go through or endure before this universal survival arc because this this arc is going to be i'm not going to say the end of super but it's going to be very climatic it's going to be super climatic you got all uh 13 universes i believe fighting to stay alive and that that that's a lot on the line it's not just you and your planet it's your entire universe that's god that's a lot so what i i really want to see from the z fighters because obviously their universe isn't going to get destroyed that's obviously not going to happen but i do want to see them struggle i do want to see them pull out something new and i want to see goku actually master his kaioken on top of his super saiyan blue does he have to do kaioken times 10 no but <clears throat> with that being said that shows how much powerful Hit really was compared to Goku. That he had to power up 10 times his God form. 10 times his Super Saiyan God form. It, it's just mind blowing to think at how powerful Hit was. And according to um, Whis and everything, the, 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 the um, apparently, well, we don't know if Hit is one of the top five fighters in the, in the multiverse. But we do know the Grand uh, Daishinkan, I think that's what he was called, the Grand Daishinkan. His father and Valdo's father are in the top five um, fighters. We don't know what his place is in that top five, but we do know he's in that top five realm. And we don't know who else is in there. Now, will we see these people fight? Potentially, but I, somehow I highly doubt it. And I feel like the, the Grand Daishinkan is probably going to be a villain. Now, if you're... If you're uh, someone who enjoys browsing YouTube and you subscribe to a bunch of different people who talk about fairly similar things, there is a common theory going around that the Grand Dai Shinkan is um, going to be a villain for that arc based on a panel that we saw. Um, now, would that be crazy to see? Yes. Uh, would I like to see that? Yes and no for the simple fact it's... Um, you got to think, it, it'd be a big mess going on if everyone had to try to work together and take out this guy because you got a bunch of egos clashing and I just feel like it would get very messy. So I'm going to leave that alone. But <clears throat> if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, comment, tell me what you think. I really want to know what you guys think is going to happen. Who are you excited to see, like pull out something new? Who are you excited to see make a new move? Who are you excited to see make a grand return? Um, like I said, Tien's my favorite character, so I'm actually looking more forward to seeing him doing something. Um, everybody else, I honestly, is just like, okay, whatever. But Tien, Gohan, and 17, I want to see something for them. I am extremely, extremely excited to see what they are going to do in the art to come. <clears throat> now, again... If you guys enjoy the videos and the content that I post, be sure to hit that like button, comment, tell me what you think. And most of my videos where I'm doing a commentary is going to be over Xenoverse gameplay. Um, if I'm talking about something else, it'll be over another game. But if it's Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super related, 
it's always going to be with um, Dragon Ball content. And like I said, I'm going to try to bring you guys at least two videos a week, if not more. I'm going to try to become more consistent, but I'm adjusting to my new work schedule. And like I said, I'm working on an actual YouTube series as well with a group of friends. So be on the lookout for that. Um, and if, like I said, if you guys are interested, comment, tell me that you're interested um, for more information on it. And I'll link you to the channel that it's going to be on. And be sure to turn on post notifications so you guys can see when I post a new video. And as always, man, it is your boy Joker850X. And I hope you guys have a good day. And we are out. Peace. Take a body's high